you homeless. figuring out what happens after that initial engagement, after they take a coding class. Because it's about connecting the dots and making sure that we are illuminating the path to a viable career in tech. And we do that through our Pathways Adult Learners course. Now, this is just the beginning, and this is a big vision, but big vision requires big voices, and big voices are partnership. And so we are grateful for you in the audience we consider you partners in helping us carry out this work. We consider, of course, the people that came together to bring this to fruition, our friends and our partners. And we thank you as well. And you'll see a lot of them join this stage and share their stories. And collectively, once we all come together, we can get beyond just moving needles and start moving mountains. And so with that said, I am honored to play a very small role. I thank the team, because without them, this does not happen. I thank you all and our partners. And I am also honored to introduce, so please help me to welcome somebody that is inspiring change across the state, somebody that is moving mountains in her own right, a Tech Alabama board member and the president of the Alabama Power Foundation, Milo Calhoun. And 
excited that we have a space that is in many ways oversubscribed, but I think it speaks to what this will mean to Birmingham, what it will mean to our citizens, what it will mean to our community and to our state, what we are showing the world here. That's what we do in Birmingham, right? That's what we do. I am honored to lead uh, a foundation that really thinks critically about what do strategic investments look like. It's not really about grant making, it's about investments. How do we take this marvelous tool and invest in programs that invest in people that amplify what is good and right about access for everyone, everyone? And how do we do that in a way that we show it to the world? And that's really what today is about. That's what today is about. I am honored to serve on the Tech Alabama Board. It is a thrill. I am not a technology person. I'm a lawyer. But we have a dynamic board. Some of the brightest minds in Birmingham, and I can say that because I sit with them, but it is, it is true that none of this would have happened without the vision of our board chair. None of it would happen, and you all need to know that, and he doesn't really like it when I say it, but it is true. None of this would have happened without the vision and wisdom and flint and grit of our board chair, who I am now pleased to introduce, Anthony Curry.
and so many others come together to help create this event, I really do like our chance. And one of those partners that we had that was here from the very start is our city. They've done a phenomenal job by our mayor. So please help me welcome whom I call the ambassador of opportunity for our city. <laughs> My dear friend, Mayor Randy Wilson. excitement and energy in this room that it's, it's much felt. Birmingham is very proud to partner with Alabama, I mean Alabama Power um, and so many others in this community who are making true investments in what we do for the future of the city. We're also proud to partner with Alabama for this new, this new venture Ed Farm. Through Ed Farm and Tech Birmingham, We'll be opening doors for both children as well as adults to explore careers in technology, STEM, and coding. And as Dion reminded, this is a game changer for workforce development in this city and in this community. And as part of that effort, I am honored to welcome Apple CEO Tim Cook. As CEO and a member of Apple's board of directors, Mr. Cook has championed inclusion and diversity by investing in coding programs and educational opportunities for students of all ages and backgrounds and ensuring Apple's technology is accessible to all. Now, if you didn't know, Tim is one of us. He's a native of Robertsdale, Alabama, and attended Auburn University, but we won't hold it against you. <laughs> <laughs> This new partnership is a game changer in keeping Birmingham ahead of the tech curve. It provides educational equity. It introduces residents of our city to the latest tech trends. And it prepares our workforce for the future. It's been a great privilege to work alongside Apple. And we're looking forward for more great things from this partnership. Before I bring Tim up, I just want to say a special thank you to three people. Mark Cross White, Dr. Lisa Heron, and my friend, where is she wave her hand, Lynn Stanfield. See. <laughs> now it is my great pleasure to introduce to you all the coolest introvert in the tech community. <laughs> <laughs> special for me personally because while, Apple, while education is in Apple's DNA, Alabama is in mine. Yeah. Alabama is my home, where I grew up, where I went to school, where I learned to be the person I am, both inside and out of the classroom. So it means the world to me to be back here with all of you. Before I get into why we're here today and the impact we hope the center will have, I want to talk about why we're here now in Birmingham during Black History Month. Few cities have played a more consequential role in our struggle to build a free and fair society where equality of opportunity is real. That work did not end with Brown v. Board of Education or the Civil Rights Act. It still has not ended to this day. To help tell that story, 
The Ed Farm will be teaming up with the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute to develop digital storytelling and augmented reality tools that bring the civil rights movement to life for visitors from around the world. to the American project of forming a more perfect union. So in our common quest to build a new future defined by education, innovation, and technology, we have to meet today's enduring injustices with the enduring commitment to equality that this city has long embodied. As Dr. King said, we have to have the audacity to believe that peoples everywhere can have three meals a day for their bodies, education and culture for their minds, and dignity, equality, and freedom for their spirits. That's a mission that stretches far beyond one person, one company, or one city. But there's no better time to come together than now, and no better place than Birmingham to do it. which Apple has found here in great supply. You saw early on that coding is a universal language that fuels innovation. The Alabama Community College system was one of the first to start teaching app development with Swift, Apple's free, easy to learn programming language. Birmingham Can Code has helped hundreds of local students learn to code and nearly 2,000 community college students across Alabama have taken Develop with SWIFT courses. Partners like the Alabama Community College System and Lawson Community College proved these programs potential and today, the Everyone Can Code curriculum has grown to many more colleges and universities and to millions of elementary school, middle school, and high school students in Alabama and around the world. But access to tools is just the first step. It's also important that we build dedicated spaces like this, where communities can come together, learn together, and draw inspiration from one another. That's the idea behind Apple's Community Education Initiative. Across the country, we're collaborating with local partners to support students and teachers and to expand workforce development opportunities to diverse groups of students and community members. Here in Birmingham, we're working with Tech Birmingham and Tech Alabama, Birmingham City Schools, Lawson State Community College, the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute, and many other university and community partners to make that happen. Already, we've teamed up with Ed Farm to invite adult learners here to learn to code. Already, we're, be, we're bringing coding beyond these walls to students in Birmingham. By creating this community hub, and by giving teachers the tools and skills to bring coding and creativity lessons into their classrooms, we can make a ripple in a much bigger class. Ed Farm is helping us achieve that with three core programs. Teacher Fellows, which gives local educators a coding curriculum, new technologies and devices, and instructional support. Student Fellows, which creates challenge-based learning experiences for middle and high school students to solve community problems and build entrepreneurial skills. And Pathways, which focuses on helping adult learners in Greater Birmingham build digital skills, learn to code, and get a post-secondary degree. I like the word pathways because it goes to the heart of what we believe so deeply at Apple and what all of us are doing here today. For too many students, whether they're in high school or whether they're an adult making a career change, the paths forward feel constrained. 
They either don't know where to find the tools to learn and grow, or they have a goal that seems too remote to achieve. Education is the path. It's a path to a job in an emerging field like augmented reality or machine learning. It's a path to giving back to your community by becoming a teacher, a social worker, a nurse. It's a path to inspiring the next generation as a filmmaker, author, or artist. All of these jobs require problem solving. All of them require creativity. All of them require collaboration with others. The Ed Farm is about clearing a path for anyone of any age, background, or interest, whether or not they're destined for a career in technology. This is the culmination of a lot of hard work, of a strong vision for the future, of the tireless advocacy of educators, students, and Birmingham leaders. But it's also the first step along the path. I think it's a promising one. With the team we built here, with the Birmingham community, and with an abiding faith in education's power as a great equalizer, I'm grateful to walk this path together, and I can't wait to see where it leads. Thank you very much. Superintendent of Birmingham City Schools, Dr. Lisa Herring.
deliberate about my words, but I will honor the time that has been put before me, but I will be your superintendent. In Birmingham City Schools, we are building leaders, and to be clear, we are impacting the world. Right. We do that with a strategic plan that this board unanimously passed, Force for Greatness, 2018 to 2023, and I'll take the liberty to say and beyond, to change the landscape of education, and as Tim said, to be the architects, to continue to make education the great equalizer. Four critical pillars. Pillar one, student success. Ed Farm, we're already there. Pillar two, team excellence, teacher fellows. Pillar three, stakeholder trust. Look around this room. All right. Mm -hmm. Pillar four, effective systems and planning. Ed Farm, all of this work is not by accident. It is not, it is intentional. We are preparing our scholars not just to have devices, we're preparing our teachers not just to be able to share something shiny in the classroom, but to engage, to flip, to redesign, to innovate. Not for devices to substitute, but for them to create for every scholar the opportunity to be prepared for careers that none of us in this room can possibly identify 2030. That is this work. And for us to do it in a city called Birmingham, where for years we have built the blueprint for changing the game, changing the hearts, changing the minds of human beings, because not only do we believe that education is the great equalizer, but it is everyone's civic right to be able to read, to be able to innovate, to co-create. And in this partnership, we honor and we celebrate that we are now the architects of engineers, innovators. We are co-creators. Everyone can and will code. We are co-creators. Everyone can create. And we will change the game for the world. We recognize the importance of that. Tim said it already. It takes collaboration, curiosity, grit, innovation. And I'd like to tell you it takes time, but time, my friends, is of the essence. And when we know that, we recognize that moments like this are not just moments, they are monumental. <laughs> and we recognize in Birmingham City Schools that you trust us with your scholars. And our return on your investment is that we will provide for you innovators that will help not only change the landscape of the city of Birmingham, but as we say in our motto, we will also impact and change the world. It's a great day to be Birmingham City School Superintendent. <laughs> somewhere between the ages of two and three and moving upward because the sky is indeed the limit. And in partnerships like this with Ed Farm and the work that we're doing because we believe in our scholars, because we believe in our city, and we believe in the work that we can do together, we will indeed change the world. To all of my board members who are present, it is indeed an honor to have you. I see you, Ms. McAdoy, and if I, if I don't see anyone else, know that we join together to say, Birmingham is here, Ed Farm together, we will change the world, and we will bring more attention to this work. I now have the great honor to bring another friend to the stage, the Director for Civic Innovation, who is also a Birmingham City Schools alum and a Birmingham City Schools parent, my colleague and your innovator, Dr. Anthony Hood, Director of Civic Innovation for the University of Alabama at Birmingham. Super excited. 
excited about what this is going to mean for our teachers as well as for our students and our faces. I'm also excited about what this might mean as a higher education uh, teacher, what this might mean for our college teachers as well as our students as this program skills of this program. Uh, so thank you for joining us as we've been here to cultivate change. Now I know some of you have to get back to your day. So help us out by in the transition, making your way to the front of the building, and we'll kind of exit out that way. When you register for our creativity labs, I'll be your MC for the rest of the day. So if you register, you should have a color on your lanyard. If you have the orange color, we're going to transition over to the Birmingham skyline, this nice mural over here to your left. We need some of our student ambassadors and they'll give you further instructions. For those of you who have not registered for our creativity lab and you want to learn more about Ed Farm, feel free to stay around, grab a bite, and hang out down here on the floor. We're going to have a reception that's open to everyone and we'll provide additional instructions on how to uh, transition to this So thank you. Please give everybody a round of applause.